So you have probably all read the title of this video, which is Are Genital Preferences Transphobic? But what this should really be called is an apology. I'm sorry. I recently had a realization and I've gotta say it, I've seriously messed up. Y'all know me. When I make a mistake, I am all about calling myself out and owning up to it. So here I am to make amends for my big transgression. By now, I'm sure you're all wondering what that is. Here it goes. I have been hitting on a lot of people. Now to be fair, I don't remember it. I don't remember any of it. I don't recall hitting on anyone. But I must be. Cause I'm not cisgender and so many people have been posting content recently about how they would never ever 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 date a trans person. Ever. Ever. So I must be doing something to inspire these preference PSAs. Cause no one would offer these statements up unsolicited I think, right? It'd be like if a straight girl came up to me and was like, Hey, so I actually saw you walking your dog across the street and I just wanted to come up and say, you look really gay and I'm not into lesbians just so we're on the same page. I'd be like, cool. Sweet. Deal sauce, let's not date. I'm ready for that to not happen. It'd be like me tapping a dad with two kids in front of me in line at the grocery store on the shoulder and saying, Hi, um, excuse me, so I think dads are beautiful. I accept them. I see that you have a wedding ring, but I don't date married dads. It's just a preference. It doesn't, it's like, I can't help it. Thank you. Have a really good day. He'd be like, hmm, weird, weird. That was weird. It'd be like if a lesbian or a gay guy said, Hi, I'm Steve and I don't date bi people because I'm shitty and have trust issues. Wait, some people really say those things. Hashtag biphobia sucks. It would be like if I was at a football game and went up to every single person there and said, Hey, so are you, are you a Steelers fan? Cool, I actually don't enter into relationships with football fans. I just don't do sports, it's not my thing. That's like a group of people I just, mm, mm, mm. They'd be like, okay, that, I'm watching the, can you move? Anyway, the point is, it seems bizarre to me that anyone would just put that information out there when nobody asked. So like I said, I can only conclude that I am doing something to prompt this. Otherwise, why would these sentiments keep showing up in my feed? Someone even tweeted my friend. While I accept that Ash is cute, and I would typically go for someone like her, I can't be attracted knowing she is biologically male. <laughs> I tried. It's just nature. Whoa, I thought I was assigned female at birth. I might not be, who knows? I guess I'll check after this video. Thank you though for letting me know you're not down to fuck and think I have a dick. I must sexy sleep text these people or something. <laughs> Or I have allergies and I've been taking a ton of Benadryl, so maybe I got high and called them. So, uh, are you into guys or gals? Cause I want to be your non-binary more than pals. Are you wearing the gender binary? Cause, uh, we should slip into something more comfortable. <laughs> Do you want to touch my gender neutral butt? Do you want a girlfriend or a boyfriend? Cause I could be your they -bay. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Regardless, I should not be making these kinds of advances. I am a married monogamous person, after all. Inappropriate, Ash. So I'm sorry to anyone I made uncomfortable because they think I want to jump into their pants. To be clear, I don't. I also want to say sorry to Grace. I literally had no idea I was so thirsty for all these people who don't want me. Yeah. I hope everyone can accept my apology. Bye! <laughs>
I'm not wearing a bra, but you'll be fine. I'll just, I'll just hunch. Hey everybody, so don't take that video too seriously. It was just cheeky and sassy and satirical for my own catharsis. But I know a ton of you are going to say, Ash, these comments aren't unsolicited. It's trans people who are calling certain people transphobic. I have to look at you and be like, eh, I don't think I agree. At least that's not my experience. I mean, I'm just thinking about myself and I'm like 99.9% .9 sure that I've never called a person who doesn't want to date trans people transphobic, but I still get told individually that I am undesirable. People still make these huge, like, widespread declaration videos that they wouldn't date me. Some people even make five. I think the first one's weird, but <laughs> but after, like, video two, three, four, and five of the same thing, just like reminders, I can't help but look around and be like, who, who did I call transphobic? Who did I? Did I, I swear I didn't. And if somebody does call you transphobic, maybe like reach out to them. Like talk through it. Try to gain some understanding, some common ground. See if either one of you can help the other one see where the other one is coming from. That just sounds like a better idea to me. But like I... Who am I, you know? I mean, I feel like it's better than taking it upon yourself to remind all other trans people <laughs> that you super don't want them. And like, really, don't worry about it. Because if you have your heart dead set on never dating a trans person, when it all boils down to it, they don't want to date you either. So it's all good. Chill out. It just seems so extra. Like... Next time I'm hanging out with my friends, I'll be sure to remind them that I don't want to date them. <laughs> I've been shouting out a lot of trans, non-cis, non-binary, gender non-conforming, uh, and, or, and or androgynous people on Instagram lately. And this only inspires me to do that more. So if you want to follow me on Instagram, you can. Like, for example, recently I shouted out one of my patrons, Finn. He is adorable. I think I'm done talking now. Hey there, ho there, before you go there, don't forget to click that link. The YouTube algorithm works in very strange ways. A click's the best way to give Ash Hardell your praise. So hey, ho, before you go, don't forget to click that link.